Hi, it's Jeff Challen. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to set up an API key so that you can use the Microsoft Cognitive Services API. If you've watched the previous video about this particular tool or this particular service, you've seen that it's incredibly powerful and it can extract really a really surprising amount of information from uh, just an image. Now, the problem is, so I'm looking at uh, the emulator and this is actually running the solution set. But what you'll see when I've, I've, and I've, you know, I've put in my nice little cute photo of a dog from the American Kennel Society. But if I try to um, classify this and extract information from it using the Microsoft Cognitive Services API, what you'll see is that it doesn't work. And there's a warning message that's being printed to my Android Logcat console that says unauthorized request. The reason for this is that in order to use the Microsoft Cognitive Services API, I need to provide an API key. This is common, particularly when a remote API provides some type of expensive service. So performing this sort of image classification isn't free. Um, and so in order to do it, uh, it requires a certain amount of resources. And Microsoft just decided not to make this particular API available to everybody without authorization. So that's the bad news. The good news is that it's quite straightforward to get an API key and it doesn't cost any money particularly if you're a student. So one of the great things about being a student is that there's a lot of companies and a lot of services out there that really want you to try their products, their APIs, their libraries. And to do that, they usually offer you a certain amount of incentives and Microsoft's no different. So the first place to start, both these links are in the MP3 write-up, but the first place to start is to go to this page here and to activate your Azure account uh, as a student. So if I click on this button, now I've already done this, so I can't do this again. It's probably not gonna let me. Um, yeah, I might not even, uh, I think, let's see what happens here. Quite a few different redirects. Okay, so I've actually already activated my, my student account. If I hadn't done this, what you would have seen is that it's gonna ask you for an email address. Um, you should enter in your university email address, and it's gonna use that to turn on a benefit where you can um, you get $100 free credit, and then you also get certain uh, free, access, free access to certain Microsoft APIs. So please do this. This may also require that you create a Microsoft account. You can do that using any email address. You don't have to use your school email address, but your school email address should work as well. So once you've done this, uh, the next step, and again, this link is also in the MP, is to come over here and the API that we're going to try, that's part of the Azure Cognitive Services uh, suite of different uh, types of services, you can see here that there are a bunch of other um, services that are available. So I can do spell checking in the cloud. I have uh, text to speech and speech to text APIs that I can use. These might be things that spark a little bit of creativity for you when you think about how to do your final project. That's pretty cool. All right, so here's the computer vision API, but this is what I want to use. So I'm going to hit get API key. Please don't select this option. So if you select the guest option, you can do this for free. There's no credit card that you have to insert or whatever, but seven days isn't long enough for you to com really complete this MP. And you probably want to consider using this API as part of your final project. So if you already have an existing Azure account, particularly if you've already created one when you um, signed up as a student, when you activated your student um, Azure package, then this is the one you want to use. I'm already signed in here. So this is what's going to happen. There's like 16 redirects for some reason because this is a Microsoft service. But when I'm done, I'm gonna be taken to this pretty scary dashboard um, that, that Microsoft provides, right? Uh, you'll see here that I have a free trial with remaining credit of $200, that's great. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm creating uh, a key that I'm gonna use in my project. So I'm gonna uh, call this MP3. Um, I actually can't use this, so I'll call this MP3 part two, or how about MP3 demo. The subscription I'm gonna use here is Azure for students. Um, now this is quite important. So the location uh, determines where these API requests are gonna be served from. So if you were developing an app for people in Asia, you'd wanna use Microsoft's cloud, um, the cloud location that's in Asia because that would make your request um, come back faster. In our case, we're gonna use West Central United States. Again, it's really important to use that properly. 
Pricing tier, I'm gonna use the free tier. This gives me uh, 20 calls per minute. So I can make 20 calls to this API per minute, and I can make a total of 5,000 API calls per month. That should be plenty for you to complete this, uh, this, um, this MP. If you run out of, of those calls, it'll prompt you and, and you can decide what to do at that point. Um, so I think I've, did I have created a resource group? Yeah. This is silly, okay. So maybe I'll call this, this MP3. Okay, great. All right, so I'm going to create. This is gonna take a minute to think. And when it's finished, it should display the information that I need to set up my key. Okay, so um, now this, this sometimes takes a minute to, to update. Um, so I'm gonna go back over here and go to, uh, go back to my dashboard. Um, I'm gonna hit refresh here. All right, so here's MP3. And then down here, what I want is keys. Okay, so, so this, is, this is what I want. You can see here that there are two keys. You can use both, or you can use either, sorry. But I'm gonna, I need to copy one of these. I'm gonna copy this key. And then this, now the question is, what do I need to do to use this? And the way that we've set up this app is that it's gonna read this information from a file in your app directory. The file is called secrets.properties. You need to create that file. It doesn't exist already, and it's not going to be checked into Git. Whenever you're using secrets as part of your app, you always wanna make sure that you store them in a way that's secure so that somebody doesn't, isn't able to grab your key and use it and maybe make lots of requests and cost you money and stuff like that. So here we're gonna to go to the project view. I need to switch to that so I can create this file. I'm going into the app directory. I'm gonna create new file. I'm gonna call that file secrets.properties. And in that file, I'm gonna put just this line, so API key is equal to the key that I retrieved from the Microsoft Cognitive Services API. So I've got this, got that. Okay, so now let's rebuild our app. I'm gonna actually have to start and, and uh, rerun the app for this to work. So I'm gonna restart the app. Once the app restarts, it's gonna pull the API key from that file going to send that key along with the requests that I make to the Microsoft Cognitive Services API and that's going to authorize the app to make the request and it's going to give me the ability to see the data that's returned. This is particularly useful when you're working on the app because you, your um, image processing library is going to have to parse the JSON that's returned by the Microsoft Cognitive Services API. In order to do that, you probably want to see what JSON is coming back for different types of pictures. All right, so let's, oh wait, oh, I don't want to do this. It's trying to take a picture now. Bad. Okay, I pushed the wrong button. I don't think I have the camera set up on this properly. Um, you can set up the camera if you want to, uh, but Let's go back. Okay, so I'm gonna open up a file because I've already, um, I should already have that cute picture of a dog that I downloaded. Okay, maybe didn't get saved. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and, and grab that photo of a dog again. So here's a reminder about how to get data into the app. This is pretty similar um, to what we did on MP1. So I'm gonna paste this in here, hit okay. Now I can see I've got my picture of a dog. Okay, so now let's try actually doing the image recognition task. And there we see that, that it works. So you can see um, several of the other features you also have to add to complete the MP. So the dog icon is shown. Um, I see down here, this is showing the JSON that's being returned by the Microsoft Cognitive Services API. And then I'm showing a caption and there's a little bit of information about the image. It shows me what type it is and then its dimensions. So this is a demo of how to get the key um, from, so that you can use the Microsoft Cognitive Services API. So three steps. Uh, the first step is to activate your student account. The second step is to start from, let me see if I'll go back here. If you Google Azure Cognitive Services Photo API. Where, 
here we go. And again, we have a link to this in the MP write-up. So if I go down here, I click on the vision, um, and then I said, try for free, and then I use my existing Azure account to sign in. There's a process by which you have to create a key. Once you complete that process, you'll be able to enter that key into the app and get started classifying images. So good luck on MP3.